Um, so what fear does is it completely paralyzes me um, so that uh, I um, don't feel safe and um, I have, I lose my sense of personal power. Um, and I think that this happens to a lot of women when they're confronted with fear. Um, life is full of challenges. And I think the thing is that sometimes women have got it very wrong in that they think uh, in order to be strong, in order to be warrior woman, they need to make themselves hard. But I think the opposite. I think that I need to um, be vulnerable and honest with how I'm feeling about any given situation. If I can speak it or feel it or be it, that makes me strong enough to be able to conquer the fear so that um, I'm not stuck in fight or flight and that I can move forward and I can make choices out of grace and love as opposed to uh, fear and ego. Oh, there's so many incidences where I have had to be brave. Um, so many, like any woman. I think um, I started doing a, a, a course at UNISA, uh, the Applied Center of Psychology, um, in logotherapy. And at one stage, you have to um, take a whole year's worth of studying and um, questioning on a topic, and then you have to present it in front of a whole lot of people. And um, this very snooty, man was standing next to me and I was gathering all my stuff together ready to go up and do the presentation and he said so what are you are you a counselor are you a therapist are you a psychologist I said no I'm an actress and he literally went <laughs> like this and I thought I'm going to show you and I got up and I delivered my presentation and it was one of those shining moments in my life where I could have allowed my ego and my fear to to give me this emotionless sort of talk but instead, I just, um, I say you've got to use devotion, devotion for what you're doing to get you over the fear. I was devoted to the topic. I was passionate about how this could help people. And I was utterly convinced that this uh, method of Frankel could help people out there like me. And I soared, I really did. Uh, I, I did very, very, very well. I, I would like to look hot and svelte and powerful, um, but also um, kind and facilitating. Um, I think it's very important to know that when you're facing fear and you're trying to shift and move more towards love, that the first step you take is actually to show self-care and self-love for yourself. That really is the most important. And I'll never forget the story of when I first found out that my whole marriage had exploded in the media and um, I was freaking out. And I remember my best friend phoned me, Mary Ann, and she said, listen, I've just read it and I'm getting in my car and I'm coming over to you right now. And I said, I don't, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to think. I don't even know where to start. And she said, listen, you need to get into the shower and wash your hair and you need to brush your teeth because I bet your breath stinks. And it was just the most brilliant advice and the best advice I can give women out there. So be, I don't know, you know, self-care check, self-love check. It's very important.